Welcome to the Dono and Joe show. The Dono and Joe show. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so today's topic, Instagram hacking. You know firsthand how that goes. Yeah. So The good news is, though, on the way here, well, not on the way here, about an hour before having to get here, um, I got it back. It was quite the process, but we got it back. That's a success story, if I've ever heard one. So... Yes, en route here, well, a little bit before here, I got my Instagram back. So a lot of you guys know, yes, my Instagram got hacked. And I would like to say, first off, the amount of support that we have in this community is mm. insane. Like whether it was influencers, stores, brands, people, whether I've you know worked with them before, the amount of shout outs that you know, I got in support that way was insane. So thank you guys. It really meant a lot because when that happens it's literally your community and like your fellow influencers and stuff that help that literally help build you up so yeah that's like a really good example of collaboration over competition right like, like just helping someone out if they're down and in shitty times so and like the yeah the amount of you know like local influencers they could have just kind of sat there and like oh that sucks <laughs> but you know they gave shout outs they asked to help however i could they gave me well, the phone number and the contacts on how to get it fixed. So that, was that really saved helpful. me. Yeah. yeah, that really saved me. So that was great. So it's, it was stressful. Yeah, no kidding. So how did you first find out that somebody had hacked your Instagram? Like how if someone's out there and they think that someone logged in or will it notify you? OK, well, they have. Yeah. So you can do that two factor authentication, which I highly recommend doing. And I'll talk about that after as to why mine must not have been on. I thought it was. <laughs> but. I got an email saying that, so whoever hacks in, I don't know how they hack in, and then they changed, so they changed the email to their email, and then that mm -hmm. way they could start getting access into my account and then take off my email and take off my phone number. So I got an email, you know, I'm going to find it. Yeah. it was, it's quite the story, <laughs> you guys, it's quite the story. Um, I got an email from Instagram saying, I can't find it right now. Oh, yeah, saying that, you know, my email has changed, all that stuff, but I was asleep. So <laughs> if you get the notification right away, you can generally catch it and say this wasn't me because they have yeah. that button to do that. But because I was asleep, they had hours yeah. to get they in there already figured ahead out. Of you there. So having that two-factor authentication on is huge. That's mm. pretty much is what's going to save you. And then another girl, I don't know if you've heard of this, it's called, like, the Password app. No. I've never heard of it either. I'll have to look into it and let you guys know. But apparently using that's great, but mm. also changing your password like every three to four weeks. Oh, wow. I mean, I can barely remember <laughs> my password that I've had for years, but I guess that's yeah. another good tip. Hmm. But the two-factor authentication, people, like everybody was asking me, like, didn't you have that on? But you know those apps that you have that plan your Instagram feed? Yep. Yeah, we you, use a couple of those. Do you... <laughs> We, we have to turn, I have to turn my authentication off to sign into that. I was using yeah. that Unum one, okay. you know, U-N-U-M, and it won't let me sign in unless I turn the two-factor authentication oh. off. So I think that's what kind of got me. Okay. Love their planning app, but I'm never turning off my two-factor <laughs> authentication ever again. Yeah. So like things like I know you got, you can hire, you know, I mean, I get these notifications or e those DMs all the time saying like, use us to help build your following. Not <laughs> buy followers, but just like to help them build your following. And it's some automated machine that yeah. like robots likes and comments. Do not do those. Cause that's another thing. Then people have your password, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's another tip I learned from somebody, which, you know, I mean, it's better <laughs> to grow your following on your own and build those connections anyways, but yeah, lots of people do go that route though with automation. So exactly, just something to know. There's a ha there's a risk to go with it. You so. can hack <laughs> like I mean I don't know much about that stuff, but like think about it. Like people can pretty much hack anything. Yeah. Like if they're good enough, they can hack anything. So, yeah, that was quite that was quite the ordeal. But thankfully we, yeah, we got it back today. So. Should you be a little bit of a lowdown of what happened? Might as well, yeah. So I think let's take people on the roller coaster that you were the on. The roller coaster <laughs> of the ride. So, yeah. I mean, my fiance said he was like, this could seriously be in a movie. But the people that hacked me <laughs> sent me emails. So it was some random email. And they just said, like, we're blocking your account. So I guess it wasn't deleted, thank goodness. But they blocked my account, changed my name, 
did all that stuff and were threatening me to delete the account if I didn't pay them like 360 USD in the next three hours. I was like, oh my God. That's not even a lot of money either. Right? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I, was like, I was like, really? I'm only, I'm only worth 360 US? Come on, my page isn't that bad. Just kidding. But and then, but I knew, like, I wasn't going to pay them for it because for all I know, they could have just taken the money yeah. and deleted the account anyways. Like, I wasn't going to fall for that. But like I said, back to how supportive everybody was, like, I had influencers reaching out to me saying, you know, try this, do this. There's this contact, that contact. Um, so I ended up doing, and I'll put this in our little bio, this one of the influencers told me to message this guy named Grayson, and I guess he's dealt with tons of accounts that have been hacked. FYI, <laughs> Instagram support center, it's just not very helpful. Like you can request help that you've been hacked, but it takes days and days. Like it's just it's just not immediate and I needed immediate action because they were threatening to delete my account. But this guy named Grayson, he you call him, you pay him, and him and his team get your account back. So while this guy is trying (laughs) to get my account back, I'm trying to stall these hackers because they're they're threatening to delete my account. So I'm (laughs) sitting there like emailing them back like, oh, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the money thing and like all this, like just trying to (laughs) buy some time. Yes, them the whole time. So that was that story. (laughs) But, you know, like like I said, they got it back. And as soon as that email comes in, though, you have to click like reset password ASAP because yeah. if you don't, then the ha- like the hackers get that notification oh, too, yeah. and then they can just go back in and reset it. Yeah. So I literally just sat in front of my computer for the last thirty hours. Like I don't even think I slept. <laughs> just an adrenaline rush for thirty hours. <laughs> oh, it was, and like, and when I got it back, I was like shaking. I could like barely type in my <laughs> password to change it. Like oh. I was just freaking out, but. So I think the tips to prevent that, like from what I learned from that experience, is always have obviously your two-factor authentication on. I'm not using those apps where you have to turn it off to do it. Yeah. Just don't don't use, like even those apps where it sends out like the RoboBot likes and comments. I know a lot of them are getting shut down now, but Mm -hmm. like a people know when you're getting robot likes. Because if somebody comments on my photo just saying like, love it under, you know, like you can tell when they're (laughs) genuine or not. So it's not really even gonna help, like help you grow by any means. But Mm -hmm. that's that's a huge risk to get your Instagram hacked right there because you can never really turn off your two factor authentication either because then it probably like shuts it off. I don't know, I don't really know how that works, but always make sure you have it on and change your password monthly. Mm. Like it was, yeah, I haven't changed mine since I opened my Instagram account. Just I know. <laughs> I'm even though I just changed mine. Honestly, you guys, as I was sitting here, as we were sitting here, <laughs> the hackers were already trying to get into my Instagram. But luckily, I had my two-factor authentication on. So, I mean, it's crazy how much this happens. Yeah, no kidding. Imagine like, especially when, like, being an influencer is like your livelihood. Like that's to oh. a lot of these people, like that is how they make a living. It is. So and if th- that gets hacked and deleted. That's- it's funny, I was talking, well, it's not funny, but I can laugh about it now. I, was, I called <laughs> my mom. I was actually pretty calm when it happened. I was yeah. more like my adrenaline was going. I was more like, I was pissed off more than anything. <laughs> and like, I, so I was trying to keep myself calm and I, for like two hours, I was pretty, like I was pretty good. I was pretty level-headed. I was like, Kate, okay, I'll start a new account. I'll deal with this. Like I'll figure it out. You yeah. know, I was really trying to remain <laughs> positive through it all. And then as I was leaving the house, I like had a freaking mental breakdown. I called my mom. I was like, I'm just like, I don't even know what to do right now. And, but that's the thing though. It's like, it's, it's not just Instagram. No. And that's one thing that really kind of ticked me off too is when I put out that post saying I was blocked, I had, you know, you get a couple of the Instagram trolls, I like to call them, yeah. being like, oh, there's more to life than your Instagram followers. I'm like, okay, I yes, of course <laughs> there is, but yeah. like, that's like, that's like my job just gone. Yeah. Like, just like that, it's gone. Exactly. So that's, and that's the thing is a lot of people don't really, I don't think a lot of people really understand that that's, no. you know, like that's how companies market now. That's how... Yeah, that's how a lot of people do. Like that's a lot of people's full time jobs. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. It's not just an app. Like yeah, we get it. If you had a 
profile with just a bunch of your cat pictures on there. Right, That's yeah. one thing. Okay, it got deleted, so what? Yeah. But when it's somebody's livelihood and they're, you know, getting paid to post and stuff, then it's... That's, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and that's why for me, like even investing that money to get that back, it mm -hmm. was, it's worth it right away. Yeah. But it goes back to like the support though. Like I have, I mean, a lot of you guys know I work with like Palm Salon, Ginger Lily, like Amici's. Like I work with all these brands locally, not just globally. And right away, like they said, look, you're fine. We support you. Let us know what you need, you know, because they very yeah. easily could have been like, yeah. You don't oh, have no a following. following. Yeah. I'm not going to work with you anymore. So that right there just shows. Like, it's, it was really, it was really nice and really humbling seeing that. Yeah. Even like, like even some of the global brands. Like right away, I had to email them saying, "Look, because you know we write contracts where posts have to be up for six months or whatever yeah. it is." So right away, like I had to email <laughs> everybody, and you know, Crazy. generally yeah. they're pretty understanding. But I mean, still, it the bottom line is, is I. Didn't moving forward through, I yeah. wouldn't <laughs> have I wouldn't have the reach that they were looking for so hmm. yeah that's crazy so okay so you reached out to what's the guy's name Grayson Grayson uh, Grayson's our hero today yeah Grayson is our <laughs> hero he is my saving grace <laughs> yeah oh. saving Grayson saving Grayson <laughs> that's a good one yeah. I like that <laughs> it's funny so um okay so you emailed him up well you got referred to him I called him. called him okay so he got to work and was it more or less than 360 USD? It was less. There you go. So the, it was less. There you go. It's Hackers like the, were way out to lunch. Right? That's what I said too. Yeah. But <laughs> That's but fair. yeah, it was less than that. Yeah. And but it would have been more if it took him longer. Fair. But it only it took him less than 24 hours because on the phone he said to me it can take anywhere from a few hours to a few days. Hmm. And I was like, buddy, I did yeah. not got a couple days. Like I got <clears> hackers. <throat> like threatening to delete my account and once it's deleted like it's it's gone Crazy. like some people have yeah. said that instagram can get it back but like they can't because if people unfollow you it's not like i can just get everybody back right yeah that's weird and once photos are deleted like yeah they're still on the internet but they can't just yeah i mean some people said they can but any i don't know i got like told facebook that they can't. i think the account just comes back the way it was oh. if you delete facebook really and now that they own instagram people only just think oh it's the same thing but um, i don't maybe. know how that works so. i mean Anyways, so <laughs> what were, where were we again? <laughs> so we called up Grayson. Yeah, Grayson. He got to work. And did his thing. And yeah. yeah, so it ended up costing less, which was good. <laughs> but he awesome. did it pretty fast. Yeah, really. So I was probably so annoying, though, because every few hours I'm like, hey, updates, any updates, any updates? Yeah. And he was like, no, we'll let you know as soon as we do. But, oh, I forgot to say this. The reason why you have to be so quick, though, too, with it is because... They sent an email to me saying to get back into my account, and I literally saw it three minutes after it was sent, and the hackers already got it. Oh, really? Yeah, and got me back out. So wow. I thought I thought I missed my window. <laughs> oh wow, they're on it then. They are. They're they're honestly they're really crazy. But another thing too, though, is like from a. Well, I mean, you guys probably get this too. Is like having more outlets than just Instagram is so important. Mm. Like even for me as an influencer, like brands that I've worked with already would know that I've had that following but if it's a new brand coming in yeah. they would have no idea the content I can ha I can create you know that's why like having a media kit and a no. website or even a YouTube is so yeah. important because at least they have something to fall back on Absolutely. so at least I had my website where it shows like brands I've worked with content that I've been in content that I've done because yeah. if I didn't have any of that and only Instagram it's like yeah you're kind you're kind your of portfolio hooped. is gone basically yeah everything, yeah so that's why even, well, I mean, you guys design websites and all that stuff, so you guys yep. understand the importance of that, but thank goodness. Yeah, no kidding. But that's the gamble, though. Like, that's yeah. the gamble having your business on social online, media. Anywhere online, I guess, yeah, because it can be hacked. That's, yeah. But at least we learned a lesson today, so two-factor authentication. Have two-factor authentication okay. on. <laughs> don't use apps or any third-party stuff where you have to turn that off and don't even use third like that's just like a kind of another side tip mm. just don't use them yeah they're just they're, they're really not going to benefit you much so have that on change your password often more often yeah and call Grayson if it ever <laughs> call does Grayson, happen. Yes. <laughs> but we should, yeah, throw a little shout out there. Yeah, I'm gonna put Grayson. <laughs> Grayson Grayson's yeah. phone number is gonna be linked below. That if you ever have anything, yeah. I'm serious. Call him. Like I was so blown away because, like I said, the Instagram Support Center. You can. I probably submitted over ten 
things hmm. and I still haven't heard back from them. So wow. yeah, it's unfortunate. I wish they had like a separate email that was like for people that got hacked like and like urgent, they can even yeah. charge people, you know what I mean? Yeah. But at least like you think they'd be a little bit more on it yeah. for such a big platform. Massive, yeah. They probably get a lot of that every single day, though, globally. That's true. Millions of users, yeah. That's true. That's a very good point. Saving Grayson, so. Saving <laughs> that should be his Grayson. business name. That should be it. He should, yeah. We should start him up a little <laughs> website saying Saving Grayson and all of the influencers he's helped. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's his portfolio. Please. I would, yeah, I seriously would recommend him to anybody, though. He yeah. was so great. He was really amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. I think this will teach a lot of people, too, to just, like, be more aware of that stuff, right? Because how many people do you know out there that just have, like, build these massive followings and they don't think twice about it? Like, no. There's lots of influencers I've seen that don't have a website or, like, a Facebook page for it or, like, a YouTube channel, anything. It's just you, Instagram, that's it. Yeah, and you know what? Like, when it comes down to working with influence, or, sorry, when it comes down to working with companies, a lot of the time they only they only work with you on Instagram. Mm -hmm. That is true. So when you hear a lot of people say like, oh, this isn't important, this isn't important. I mean, as a whole, it is all very important. Like having a website is still important. Even if you aren't utilizing it as much as Instagram, like like you said, this yeah. scenario, for example, <laughs> like yeah. at least I can, at least I have a following on there and I have, you know, I have somewhere to show campaigns like, okay, yeah. I am somebody because if, if you just had Instagram, I would, yeah, no like, they're not, exist, it's yeah. like my word verse, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, yeah, I used to have, you know, like, yeah. they're not going to know. Yeah, exactly. And then even at those other platforms, you can put out those blogs and raise awareness about what happened. And yeah. If something ever happened, so. And YouTube is, like, is huge now, too. So that's even mm -hmm. another, it's funny, I mean, this is kind of off, off topic a little bit, but I was um, reading this paper article or whatever that came out. And think about it now. If somebody says they have 3,000 Instagram followers, you're kind of like, okay, like, good job. Like, that's yeah. still good. <laughs> yeah. Good following. But then if somebody says they have, like, 3,000 YouTube subscribers, they're like, oh, my gosh. Like, what are you doing? You know what I it's mean? It's crazy. How crazy yeah. that is? YouTube's like, you a can, hard one to it crack. It is. <laughs> like, somebody that has, like, 10,000 followers on YouTube, I'm like, oh, my gosh. You're like the holy grail. What are you yeah. doing? Like, exactly. it's crazy how, how much like that video on the YouTube is pushing now. It's insane. Oh, it is nuts, yeah. And it's the second largest search platform in the world, next to Google. Really? Yeah, YouTube. Wow. So. Good job, YouTube. Yeah, super impressive. So our 200 followers or subscribers aren't that bad, yeah? Good job, you guys. <laughs> yeah. The Dono and Joe show. There we go, yeah. <laughs> There's our key to 10,000 right there. Dono and Joe and yeah. saving Gra featuring Saving Grayson today. Yeah, Episode yeah. one, Saving Grayson. <laughs> Well, thank you, Jordan, for everything you've talked about today as far as Instagram hacking and now people know what to do. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to see more of the Dono and Joe show, let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. And if you guys do have any questions about anything we've talked about, comment below. and Or find you on Instagram again. Yeah, find us both on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Dono's a great photographer and videographer. So if you guys have any <laughs> photography questions too, that's something we can totally touch on. Absolutely. Whatever it is, holla. <laughs>